In this class, we look at how to create a BI publisher report in which we can pass the parameters and fetch the details from Fusion SCM tables. I am here in the catalog page for BI publisher in the Fusion instance. In order to create a report, first we need to build a data model. In order to do that, click on this plus button over here and select data model. Then we need to under data sets, we need to click under diagrams, click on plus, select the SQL query. I will name this as get site use code and select the database as Fusion SCM. I am going with the standard SQL query. I will take the help of notepad plus plus tool in order to build the query. What I will do is I will try to fetch the details from SZ custom site users all table. From here I will fetch site underscore site use id. I will select the primary underscore flag. I will fetch the status. Also I will fetch the site underscore use underscore code. I will fetch those details. Let me just validate whether this query is proper or not. Copy and paste it over here. Click on OK. Yeah, my query looks good. Let me verify. Go to data. Click on view. As you can see, we are fetching the details like site use ID, primary flag, status and site use code. Now I will create a variable or the parameter wherein I will pass the site use code. If I pass build to, then I should retrieve all the details from SCM table for build to site use codes. If I pass ship to, then I should get all the details from ship to. Now let me switch over to notepad plus plus. I will put the where clause over here. One is equal to one and I will use site use code is equal to colon p underscore site underscore use underscore code. Let me copy this from here. Go to fusion, go back to diagram, select this and click on edit. Select all and paste. Click on OK. Now it will ask Please select one or more bind variables in order to create corresponding parameters. You can select this and click on OK so that it will automatically create the parameter. Now I will select from here and click on OK. Now if you observe P underscore site underscore use underscore parameter is created for this data model. If not, we can directly come over here under parameters, click on plus and we can create a parameter manually like P underscore site use underscore code here we can select the data type uh, what will be the display label all those stuffs we can mention like how it is done over here now i will remove this as we have automatically created from the pop-up this parameter now if i go to data again you won't see the parameter now i will try to save this report first in order to save the data model we have to click on this save button over here Then we need to select the path in which we need to save this data model. I will save under this busting email folder. I will name this as site use code underscore DM. Click on OK. Yeah, our data model got saved successfully. Now let's go back to data again. Now if you see, we are seeing the parameter over here. Now I will provide build to in the parameter click on view now we will get all the details from that table for where the site use code is built to now i will change this to ship to click on view yeah as you can see we are fetching all the records from the table whose site use code is ship to now we will try to create a report for this data model. In order to create a report, first of all, we need to save this as sample data. In order to do that, we have to click on the save as sample data button over here. Then click on OK. Now we will create a report. Click on this create report. It will take you to create report designer page. So here there is an automated report creation wizard. I will not make use of this. Click on cancel. Click on OK. Instead, there is an option to select the data model. We have we can browse the data model by clicking on this magnifier icon. 
Now select the data model which we have just saved under this busting email folder. Click on OK. Now if you see our data model got selected over here. Now I will make use of this generate that is RTF layout based on selected data model option over here. Click on this. Provide the name. I will name this as get site use code underscore report. Click on generate. Now we can go for this list view over here and I will uncheck all the output formats from here and I prefer output format to be in TSV. Click on save. Now we will save this report in the same folder wherever our data model is residing. I will name this as get write use code underscore report. Click on OK. Yeah, done. Now, if you want to view the report, click on this view report over here and we can pass the parameter over here and click on apply. So we will get the details in CSV format. So following these steps, we can build a BIP report wherein we can pass the parameters and fetch the details from Fusion Cloud data tables.